Hello and welcome to this MovieZoo Play Plus tutorial on keyframes. Before we begin, you will need MovieZoo Play Plus and the keyframe expansion pack. So if you haven't upgraded already, now is a perfect time to do so. So what are keyframes? Well, keyframes are a way of defining how a property changes over time. So this can be a, a visibility property on a character, it can be a texture on a backdrop, or it can be how an object moves through your scene. Now, to use keyframes, you need to go into the prepare mode. This is the prepare camera movement, prepare object movement, prepare character properties, or prepare object properties. And here you can select the keyframed as the animation type. Now let's have a look at the user interface for keyframes. First of all, we can add keyframes. Let's just put a few of them in here. And with each keyframe, we can delete it from the main control panel for keyframes. We can also select and delete on the timeline. We can select and edit on the timeline, where we can change the frame that the keyframe is on, or we can delete it from here as well. We can also move them backwards and forwards on the timeline to adjust their start and end position. Each keyframe can be one of three types. It can be a stepped keyframe, it can be a linear keyframe, or it can be an auto keyframe. The difference between them is, if I go back to frame zero here and set it to stepped, is that the camera will instantly move from where it was to where you want it to be at that keyframe. And if I go back to frame zero again and change it to linear, we get a nice straight line that the camera will follow. If I go back to frame zero now, I can change it to auto, and you don't immediately see any difference. But by adding another frame in between the two that are there, and moving the camera down, you can see we have this nice curved shape. I can move the camera out a bit, and you can see it quite clearly now. And I can go back and change it to linear again, and it's really straight. Now let's have a look at the keyframed movement system. You can keyframe the movement of backdrops, objects, effects, lights and cameras, but you can't keyframe the movement of characters. Characters use the existing run and walk system in MovieZoo. The process and the user interface is exactly the same between directing camera movement and directing object movement. The only difference is that to direct camera movement, you go to direct camera movement, and to direct object movement, you go to direct object movement. Now let's take a look at the keyframed property system. With the object movement, there was a divide between camera movement and object movement. A similar divide exists with the properties, but this time it's between object properties and character properties. You can select an object and go to Object Properties. You can then select a track that you want to animate and set it to be keyframed. Most tracks come with an initial value. This Prepare Object Property window applies to cameras, lights, effects, backdrops and objects, but it does not apply to character properties. If you want to animate or keyframe a character's properties, you need to select the character and go to Prepare character properties. Here you can select the attachment and the track for the attachment and if it is keyframed. So here we're going to select the visible track on the main character and we'll set its initial value. With properties there are five types that you can keyframe. Let's have a look through them here. The first property to look at is a checkbox property. Here we have a character with his visibility option checked. A checkbox is either on or it's off, so there's no option in between, and as such, we don't have the transition types available. This is always a stepped transition, so the character is either visible or invisible. You can't be half visible, half invisible. Next up, we'll have a look at colors. This object here has its colors keyframed, and a good thing to notice here is that colors can have a transition type. So you can use a linear or an auto transition and that will take you from the yellow all the way through the spectrum to red 
and from the red through the spectrum to blue. The third type of property is images. Images are a bit like checkboxes in that they don't have any transition types. They just go from one image to another image as a stepped transition all the time. The fourth type of property is trigger events. These again don't have any transition options as they are just triggers. Once you start it, the effect will play and it will stop after the effect is finished. So there's no transition with this. You just set it going. An important thing to notice though is that you can't scrub through these events. You can only see them when you actually play the timeline back. The fifth type of property that you can keyframe are sliders. Sliders control things like the intensity or the scale of an asset. And with the Roman candle here, you can see that we've gone from zero intensity, the, the effect being off, to being on a little bit, to being fully on. And with sliders, you have the full range of transition types. So you can have a step transition or a linear transition or an auto transition. And finally, an important thing to keep in mind is that if you want to keyframe the properties of a camera, not all of the properties are available immediately. What you have to do is you have to go and edit the camera, turn those effects on, and then go back to prepare object properties and enable those properties for keyframing. Once you've enabled it, they'll behave like any other property.